So this, did you see any of the demo? Oh, where it just gives like a little backstory. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Uh, none of that matters. It's <laughs> up to talk to friendly aliens. Well, that guy didn't look very friendly. <laughs> yeah, they, I, they don't look friendly, but they are. Also, this game has voice acting for each hint. Oh, wow. Um, Is it good? Sorry? Is it good? Uh, it's like... Oh, you mean the voice acting? Yeah. It's not bad. It's kind of just hard to have an opinion on it, really. Uh, is it that weird, like, NES, SNES synthesized no. <laughs> voice? Luckily, no. Uh, I don't know how they fit it on the small media back in when this game came out, honestly. So this is, um... We, we didn't go left. Oh, wow. I mean... You got the Saturn ball. <laughs> squeeze in a tight spit. Jesus, come on. <laughs> I mean, I know you said this is like a weird Metroid knockoff, but I didn't think it was that friggin' blatant. It's pretty blatant, and uh, aesthetically it could be better, but I th it's not that bad, honestly. Uh, you can see he does the flip jump, but there's absolutely no reason to care about that in this game. Is that... wait, did he just double jump? No. That's probably just the frame rate. Oh, okay. So this game has, uh... I guess the way I navigate through this game is not too different from a Metroid game where, like, I memorize the rooms with a lot of exits. And, uh... That would be this room. You need some bombs and missiles. Go through the southwest exit. I like how he says it's south, even though it's down. Yeah. This yeah, they got the Super Mario World. <laughs> Super Mario World rotating platforms. Yeah, it wants to be Super Mario World, but it's just, you step on it, and then it's a scripted event. And then the game is mostly dominated by corridors like this. I guess I should mention mechanics. Um, there's jumping, shooting, walking, that's pretty normal, but, uh, and also the Saturn Ball. But if you look at the bottom, these things, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see my, yeah, you can see my mouse. Um, yeah. Each one of those is its own mechanic, except that, uh, yes, I want to be here. Um, except one of them you never get, and I honestly forget which one it is, though. Oh. It's because it's optional? No, it, it, you just never get it. It's not in the game. Oh! That's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. I mean, an item I could, slot for an item that doesn't exist? I could see not finishing a game and not putting in everything you want. Also, check this out. Um, but... Like, you could just <laughs> take that off the HUD. You don't have to leave it on the HUD. Yeah. So I guess this is kind of a hub, but, uh, like, I came in up there, and I can't get through here, and there's... Actually, yeah, I can only go through one exit upon entering that room. Is the, uh, jump physics different when you do the spinning jump? No, you have, like, perfect air control all the time, and, uh, there's no difference in height or anything. It's okay. just like the easiest to programming jump you can think of. Also, bomb jumping isn't that difficult, but um, I'll try not to sequence break with that. There's a lot of things you can do early, but I guess uh, just for covering the basics of a game, it would be best to go through without any of that stuff. 
It's nice that they did include bomb jumping, though. Kinda got me thinking, how would you make a Metroid-style game without, you know, ripping off too much of Metroid? Well, it depends on, like, what you would take as Metroid-style. Yeah. If you're mostly folk... Yeah, the thing that people identify with Metroid more than anything is, you know, less of your jump-shoot mechanics and more of your... You know. You get to do stuff like space jump and curl into a ball. Yeah. It's it's really just in the, uh, you know, the maze. That the whole game's a maze. I guess those That's are all, like, <laughs> ways that it would differentiate from uh, Castlevania. Yeah. The way... Actually, you know, there's my confession. I've never played Symphony of the Night or any of the Metroid Castlevania games, except for a little bit of the um, one of the ones on the DS where she has magnet powers. Oh, uh, Order of Ecclesia. Yeah. So that you should have some idea based on that. Um, Castlevanias are much more like, uh, I guess. Like, talking with Richard about Super Metroid, it was like, what the, what is this, the point of even this enemy? And, uh... It like you're going to sink. The scrabble is very loose. Yeah, I forgot to talk to him earlier. Um... Whereas in Castlevania, everything is organized into, like, neat little stages, and it's very easy to imagine how it would work if it didn't have the, like, adventure aspect. Right. I think he might have, um... <laughs> kind of given it kind of overdone his response because I mean I did I think there is you know a point to those enemies I mean you wouldn't want a hallway with nothing in it right you know like near the end of Metroid 2 I guess even like then, it's just uh it just seems weird that you have like a hallway that's not like so would you rather have a hallway where you just like mash the shoot button and don't think about it or would you rather have a hallway where you just don't shoot anything well, there's the thing that I am thinking about it. I mean, because if I ran forward, I would get hit by a lot of stuff. And even in some of those, you know, easier hallways, uh, I still manage. I still sometimes get hit. And also, it's a, a lot of the um, advantages are mainly due to the wave beam and the fact that it shoots through walls. So, if you find the wave beam, you know. That's where a lot of the um, the ease comes from in the first place. Otherwise, a lot of those, you know, little yellow ball, yellow gooey things that jump out of the in between the little gaps in the level, uh, those are a lot more. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the wave beam is optional. Yeah. And that's why I'm pr I'm opting to pretty much not use it for the rest of Super Metroid, because unless I'm about to die and I need to save. Do you have to do this bomb jump up there? No, there's a platform. I'm just bored. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's something different with this game too. You're talking to people. Yeah, it's neat how there's like a hint system. That's pretty ahead of its time, right? Yeah. Yes. Hey, yourself. Not sure it doesn't really... Uh, I don't know. Not in the... well, it doesn't Prime. You've played the Prime games, right? Yeah, yeah, that... yeah. So they do have a way of doing hints. Never mind. I don't, I don't know. I thought Metroid forgot to ever try that considering, you know, even way back in the SNES with Link to the Past, they had ways for players getting themselves unstuck. Oh, the fortune teller. Yeah. Which is not an Ocarina of Time, for some reason.
So this is kind of like a, a B-rate Super Metroid knockoff, but I don't think it's like... It's not unpleasant to play, it just uh, <laughs> looks really dumb. <laughs> Whereas uh, Blowout, if you've ever played that, is like extremely unpleasant to play. My microphone working yet? Yeah, you're here. Okay. Well, that took like 10 minutes of work. <laughs> Google Hangouts is not an easy system to use. Is this game really a Super Metroid ripoff, or is it a turret in your ball? Um, you get, like, you get upgrades that are permanent, and you have, um, the mazes to explore are segmented more like Super Metroid. Okay, so it's probably like someone played Turrican and was like, yeah, that bomb thing is straight out of Turrican. So like someone played that and was like, you know, this would be better if it was even more like Metroid. But kinda, yeah. Um, oh. Is that door up there that I skipped is totally pointless and doesn't need to be here? because it just leads to this room. Wait, I think I moved... Yeah, I moved faster as a ball. That's weird. Standard turret again. Why, uh, when Adrian talks, does it switch to... Does oh. Google Hangouts show me his icon? <laughs> That's Google oh. Hangouts. You can click on my name to have me show up permanently. Or, like, at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I was having that problem a second ago, too. Okay, must have unset that. So this is a reserve tank, uh, except it doesn't fill up automatically. You have to collect the health that goes in it. I like that in RPGs when you get a level up and it doesn't actually give you the experience. Do none of the spikes hurt you? No, the spikes hurt me, it's just negligible. Like, oh. it did five damage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, it's designed well enough for platforming. I, mean, I honestly forget if I want to go this way. Um, but the punishment just doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, okay, so... Do you, do you remember what these blocks are for? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I, I guess they didn't have many ways of uh, communicating that, oh, you can drop a beam that. I feel like there are slightly more ways than just blocks that have butt sides on them. The uh, Phillips head blocks. I think this was 95, maybe 94. Okay, yeah, that's what the... How did my own commando on NES do it? Because, wait, you could just grapple onto anything. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, sure. uh, I think I forgot which door I'm supposed to go in. Oh, no. Because I remember the next step I have to do puts me in a room where it looks like I shouldn't be. And that last room looked like I could do it. Yeah, alright. This is... You're forced to take damage for this part. Because there is no suits. Oh no, game without the various suit. Thomas incomplete. <laughs> so that's the, uh... I just got the super missile stand-in. Wait, is one of the things in your inventory Samus? <laughs> that's that's the X-ray visor, but uh. <laughs> I th I think I only take damage when I enter and exit the water. Hang on, when did you get the spring ball, or did you have that from the start? No, you get that with the Saturn ball. You can jump in the Saturn ball anytime. Oh. You know that background there with the 
blue skull and the f glowing red eyes. It's like where you get the morph ball in the first in Super Metroid in the first one too. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Does this game play a song when you get stuff? Uh, there's a voice clip of a guy that explains it. But right now it's doing a ripoff of the uh, mysterious, lonely tune from the Chozo rooms. Did you know that the song in Super Metroid when you get stuff is just taken from the song in the East? Wait, really? Well, I mean, they're identical. And I used to think, when I played Oath and Felgana, I thought that Oath and Felgana had copied Super Metroid, but it's the other way around because the same song is in the original game. <clears throat> Oh man, damn it. Hmm. Wait, what song in Open Fogana? When you get uh an item. Like the Isn't that in the first Metroid? Uh, I don't know, but East and Metroid came out the same year, I'm pretty sure. Oh. It's just a popular song in Japan that year. Yeah, who knows. Popular so, jingle or whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not the same, though. I think there is a difference. I am I mean, they're not identical, but they're, like, very similar. the same and one different or something. Yeah. I mean, they're... There are. There, I've had so many moments where there were jingles that sounded like they were right out of Zelda, even though they were, you know, the same. Changing one note doesn't uh, inspire me a whole lot. What? I'm not too impressed by people who use the same Zelda jingle from Zelda or Metroid and change one note. I give that as much creative credit as, uh, you know, yes. just using the same one. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, they made bomb jumping super easy in this game. <laughs> Luckily, the uh, save stations uh, fill you up to 99, but only for your current, uh, like, sub-tank down here. Uh, they won't give you the next 100 health or whatever. Right. Yeah, I'm not taking any damage. It's only when I exit. Damn it, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> There's not well. back when he gets hit. <laughs> oh. That's weird. One thing I kind of appreciate about this game is that uh, it doesn't go for all the wacky weapon sets that Metroid has. It just gives you, like, a gun, a missile, and a more powerful missile. That's all I want.